the first thing that came into our minds during the beginning of the development process was, hey, let's make a zombie game. On the meeting, Simon came up with this great idea. So, I started planning on this concept of a man stranded on a desert island with zombies. So, we started working on this and we thought, hey, this is great. Fuck, this is the best idea ever. So, what we did then was that we, we nominated it to, our, to a really great guy who called Robinson Crusoe. And, well, there's no other way we can say it, just that we like him and we just think this game is for him. What a game! When they approached me with the idea of merging Robinson Crusoe and zombies, and then they approached me to do the script, I was overjoyed. Really, I mean, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to do a game where we get to combine these things into one. It was truly an experience for me too. Because in the game, you both got <laughs> you got both kinds of enemies, both the dumb ones and the smart ones. You got the zombies, which in perspective of a writer is not that much of work really, but you also got these this scientists and this other layer of uh, story progression going on, which was really interesting to do. A very uncommon way of putting perspective in the game was over the top. Now I don't mean the classic isometric over the top like Pokemon and Legend of Zelda, I mean like really over the top, like... We wanted to make a unique approach with an over the top view zombie game. Something very new and special to break the uh, standard of the modern type of zombie games, which are most consisting of FPSs. Now, imagine you're stranded on a deserted island with ferocious zombies attacking you. The most logical thing to do? Throw rocks at them! It's the only thing that's available. Action. Pure action. There is just... no other... way of describing it.